My name is Jim Zamataro and I'm an application specialist for Cleveland Electric Laboratories Advanced Technologies Group out of Tempe, Arizona. Over the next few minutes we will show you one of the most unique structural monitoring projects currently underway in the United States. The idea for which first came about roughly eight years ago when the Delaware Department of Transportation decided to build a new bridge here at the Indian River Inlet. The groups involved in this project set out to show that in the same way a modern vehicle has an internal diagnostic system that shows how the systems are functioning, a bridge can have one also. How a bridge changes over time, how it responds to weather events, and how it is affected by other factors can be diagnosed real time and monitored remotely around the clock with the ultimate goal being a reduction in repair and maintenance costs and a much safer structure throughout its entire life. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Indian River Inlet Bridge Monitoring Project. Located just south of Delaware's Atlantic Seaside Resort Community of Rehoboth Beach, the final stages of construction are being completed on the impressive new Indian River Inlet Bridge. A design-built project of large scale, the new bridge is a 2,600-foot-long, three-span, cable-stay structure that will carry four lanes of traffic and a pedestrian walkway over the 500-foot-wide inlet that provides recreational boat access to the Atlantic Ocean. The current bridge, constructed in the 1970s, has undergone yearly underwater surveys due to the violent interaction between the Atlantic and the inlet. Over the years, the four concrete pylons have been experiencing significant and increasing scour issues that continue to progress. For this reason, DelDot chose a cable stay design to span the waterway entirely and even provide the opportunity for the Corps of Engineers to widen the inlet in the future. Although residing in the second smallest state in the U.S., the Delaware Department of Transportation ranks as one of the most progressive DOTs in their use of technology. And over the years, they had developed a close partnership with the University of Delaware's Center for Innovative Bridge Engineering. DelDot project engineer, Craig Stevens. Well, I'm Craig, I'm with DelDot, and uh, I think there's some benefits to the fact that I live in a small state or work in a small state because the University of Delaware and DelDot have a great relationship together. I really think that was the catalyst that allowed us to be able to do something that's as innovative in the long term what we're putting in here we're excited about because as far as I know it really hasn't been done. The University of Delaware's Center for Innovative Bridge Engineering is a leading resource to the highway and railroad bridge communities providing education, research, and technology transfer in a wide variety of disciplines. The University of Delaware is Dr. Trip Shenton. My name is Trip Shenton. I'm a professor and chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the University of Delaware. The idea for a new bridge crossing uh, began many, many years ago, and it became obvious that uh, the new bridge would be uh, quite different from the old one and would be much larger and uh, of a much longer span. And in addition, it would uh, be quite an, an expensive uh, piece of infrastructure. Due to the large scale of the project and the close relationship between Dell Dot and UD, once the decision was made to build the new bridge, a revolutionary idea was created. Myself and my colleagues at the Center for Innovative Bridge Engineering approached uh, Dell Dot very early on, years ago, about the idea of uh, installing a monitoring system on this uh, significant piece of infrastructure. Um, with the idea being that the monitoring system would be used to um, monitor the, the structure for many, many years to be able to quantitatively uh, assess its performance and that it could be used uh, for, for many, many years for the long-term maintenance and operation uh, of this significant uh, structure. Because we're small, we're able to try these new things out and we're able to actually open up the lines of communication. I mean, I see the Secretary of Transportation all the time. I talk to the, um, the, uh, the engineer of DelDot all the time. We're close-knit family, and when a good idea comes along, we can make the funding and we can make it work. Now that DelDot had agreed to the idea of implementing a monitoring system and planning was underway for the new bridge, it was up to UD engineers to investigate the available monitoring technologies that could be used for a project of this scale and complexity. 
After a lengthy evaluation process, Cleveland Electric Labs with corporate offices in Twinsburg, Ohio and their Advanced Technologies Group in Tempe, Arizona, was chosen to install their state-of-the-art fiber brag grading-based optical health monitoring system. Cleveland Electric Labs, along with their partner Chandler Monitoring Systems of Atlanta, Georgia, have developed a comprehensive SHM system combining this fiber optic technology with the GUI-based control and analysis software that can integrate directly into Dell Dot's existing systems and be monitored remotely. Since the creation of our Advanced Technologies Group, CEL has greatly expanded our understanding of fiber brag gratings and their use as a sensing technology. Initially, we looked into gratings as a way to create very fast high temperature sensing, but in the wake of the I-35 collapse and the increased attention to infrastructure problems in the U.S., we realized we had the key pieces in place to provide long-term embedded monitoring systems. Fiber brag grading structural sensors are high-speed, multiplexable sensors that are immune to most environmental concerns, including lightning, EMI, RFI, and corrosion. This combination made CEL's optical SHM system the ideal choice for a project where most of the sensors would be embedded in the concrete structure and need to provide data for years to come. This is a, a very innovative project, uh, particularly for here in the United States. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, this is the, the first comprehensive structural monitoring system that has been installed on a new cable supported bridge uh, in the United States. Chandler Monitoring Systems President Keith Chandler. The Indian River Bridge being a new construction is the first day cable bridge in the United States that's been instrumented from the time of its inception all through construction uh, and, and now close to its completion we'll be able to have very specific base points in which to measure the health of this bridge over a long period of time. Dell Dot deserves a lot of credit for being one of the first DOTs to implement a comprehensive embedded fiber optic system on a signature project like Indian River. While many remain unaware of fiber optic sensors and their capabilities or they shun monitoring technology altogether, Dell Dot has now applied them on a massive scale in an effort to showcase the role technology can play in bridge management. And now we have uh a fiber optic system that um, I don't know that there's anything like it in this country at this point and in Del Delaware really does like to be innovative. What's important to note is that the monitoring system was designed um, uh, as, as a part of uh, or, or for installation when the bridge is, is under construction and so we'll be monitoring uh, for what we hope is the, the, the life of the structure. There have been other instances uh, in the United States where monitoring systems have been installed on other bridges. Um, this is usually when, however, the bridge is, is much older and it is uh, known to have a, a problem already. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, the system's been installed when the bridge is brand new. We know or will know exactly how it's performed when it's new. And therefore, years down the road, if we do perhaps see some change in the response, we can relate that back to the, the initial condition. And this will hopefully help us uh, determine uh, perhaps what has happened and help us make decisions on what kind of remedial actions need to be taken to uh, correct the, the problems. It's going to be really nice to have basically a day zero and be able to track this bridge from the beginning and the type of information that the University of Delaware is going to be able to use and engineering all, engineering all over the country are going to be able to use is going to be great. Working in close cooperation with UD, CEL and CMS developed a comprehensive plan for installing the optical monitoring system using sensor locations determined by UD and DelDOT. The plan called for a variety of sensors in key areas of the bridge that could give a global picture of the entire structure's performance. The monitoring system, uh, when designed, it, it involves uh, a, a comprehensive suite of different types of sensors. We're measuring uh, strains in various parts of the structure, the edge girders, the pylons. Uh, we're measuring accelerations, that's uh, the motion or vibration of uh, the various parts such as the deck, uh, the tops of the pylons, and also the stay cables. And we're measuring displacements or movements uh, at the piers where uh, changes due to temperature cause the bridge to expand and contract. So there's a number of uh, uh, different parameters and quantities that we'll be recording and using that information we can better understand how the structure is uh, behaving, how the bridge is performing. 
since installation of the system would occur over the two plus years of the bridge's construction, and timing for each install would be critical so as not to cause any delay to the builder, communication between all parties involved was crucial to the project's success. Sometimes having a window of only hours to install was short notice, daily contact between the monitoring system team and the builder was crucial. UD Project Manager Gary Wenzel. Integrating the monitoring system uh, that University of Delaware is putting in in partnership with CEL and CMS has needed quite a bit of effort from both the Delaware Department of Transportation and the general contractor in building the bridge, Skanska. Having to interact with all levels of Skanska's on-site personnel to ensure the install team had access to critical areas before each concrete pour that involved sensors was a complicated task. At first, the natural inclination was to look at the installations as a possible source of problem and delay, but over time, Skanska became an ally in making sure the teams could perform their work in a timely manner. So we've been working closely with them uh, in scheduling and a lot of the design elements as they come out. We've had to find new ways to, to reach those locations in as short a period of time as possible. Uh, Skanska has provi helped to provide us a lot of input on that. They've given a lot of feedback and uh, it's, it's helped the process along quite a bit to have everyone's involvement uh, and also actually their excitement to be in with the process. The monitoring system design would require small numbers of sensors to be installed during numerous phases of construction, and there were many aspects of the bridge construction process that added complexity. Uh, throughout the process, uh, one of the major obstacles in installing this has uh, been scheduling and getting the design uh, elements since it is a design build process for the bridge, as we've been installing sensors, a lot of the bridge has not been fully designed, so we're working with partial plans and beginning with certain processes to install the system has had to change and morph from what we originally anticipated into a different method uh, as the design and the construction of the bridge has also changed. And through that, uh, the, the Delaware Department of Transportation has, has worked with us heavily to find ways that we can get our system in the bridge in a timely and safe uh, manner and also to work with the design so we're, we're not causing any concerns to the bridge designer AECOM. As the construction of the bridge nears completion, work is currently underway tying all of the previously installed sensor arrays together in preparation for the final integration into DelDot's monitoring infrastructure. The arrays, some of which have been embedded since September of 2009, were protected to survive the concrete pour and curing process. In the early days of the project, the idea for putting a monitoring system on the bridge was to gather structural analysis only. Over time, as UD and DelDot learn the capabilities of the optical system and the IntelliOptic software that runs it, plans for how the system would operate at the bridge expanded. It's actually kind of morphed into this really cool, nice learning experience that's going to help us security-wise, safety-wise, it's going to help um, engineering, and then it's going to help DelDot with maintenance. IntelliOptics, a software interface developed by CMS, offers a comprehensive bridge management package that uses the optical sensors and their communication backbone to provide not only structural analysis, but event warning and site security monitoring as well. You know, one of the other aspects um, of the system is its built-in capability of being able to warn you about scenarios like this. Whether it be a wreck, whether it be weather, whether it be some structural nature uh, uh, or event that may happen to the bridge, it does have the email um, and text capability to give you those warnings uh, in advance. If an elevated strain or acceleration event occurs, such as high winds or an accidental impact, warning alarms will be triggered at DelDot's monitoring center. Cameras will be trained on the affected locations and data will begin to record in real time. DelDot will be able to evaluate remotely what caused the problem and see detailed structural analysis to gauge their response before sending someone on site. The software was conducive to allow us to also piggyback the fiber optics with um, um, the computer TMC and they're able to know if people are here, if something is to happen, they can turn the cameras onto it. There's a lot of really neat, cool things they're able to do. Uh, we can assess uh, how it performs when heavy vehicles cross the bridge, when there are high winds due to hurricanes or nor'easters, um, or perhaps when there's a, a, an accident, um, a vehicle crash on the bridge. The embedded sensors 
uh, being in the concrete is protected for many, many, many years. Uh, and its longevity and what it can do over a long period of time is monitor the bridge in such a way that um, from these base points for the life of the bridge you can uh, obtain the correct type of information. Uh, we're just about at the stage of uh, completion of construction of the bridge and also of the monitoring system and so we're looking forward to um, tying in the, the final sensors and uh, begin testing and operating the monitoring system. The practical goal as far as DelDOT is concerned is the maintenance aspect. I mean monitoring you always think of loads and stuff like that but because of this the software and because of the uh, fiber optics we're able to check so many different things like chloride in the deck, the wind speeds, weather station, all that and it's very conveniently going to be sent to our TMC. With construction nearly complete and the bridge ready to open fully, the monitoring team performed an initial load test using dump trucks weighing roughly 64,000 pounds each. Starting with a single truck and working up to four, 17 passes were made using a variety of patterns while the sensor data was recorded. For the bulk of the passes, the trucks moved at a constant speed of 10 miles per hour across the span in single, side-by-side, -side, and inline patterns designed to distribute the loads in multiple ways. Ultimately finishing with two high-speed passes, the data recorded during this test will serve as a baseline for the bridge and future tests will be compared with these readings to gauge performance over time. This load test was a significant milestone for the monitoring team as it marked the end of the two and a half year installation phase of the project. In this video we have tried to give you a small glimpse of what it has taken to accomplish this unique task. And now as the system comes online, the excitement is building for the impact it can have in the bridge building community. As the concept of large scale structural health monitoring slowly begins to gain a foothold in the US, the hope of the parties involved in the Indian River project is that the knowledge gained using this embedded system will positively impact the way bridge engineers view technology and its use in a bridge management program. For more questions about the project or the technology, please contact us at Cleveland Electric Labs. And once again, thank you for watching.